Where do I even start? Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is like the craziest, weirdest thing literally ever because I have not filmed in so long, especially like in this spot. It's just wild. Okay, we're gonna get comfy because you know, I'm not gonna try to make it a long video, but I'm probably gonna ramble a lot. So just buckle up, get a drink, grab some popcorn, cuddle up in bed and let's get into it. All right, well, hello everyone. It's been, I think two years, literally two years since I last posted my last video or last posted a video. I guess I have some explaining to do and just some updates on where I've been, what I've been doing. This is, this is just good how it's gonna go right now. We're gonna be a hot mess because I haven't filmed it in forever. Yeah, so just what I've been up to, where I've been, what my life is looking like right now. A lot has changed since I last talked to everyone. So I think the last time I had posted a video um, was honestly right after I had opened my business. And I'm very happy to say that in March, so right now it's October, coming up in March is going to be three years of owning my business, which is absolutely mind blowing. I cannot believe it's been almost three years. Like that is just insane to me. And time really does fly. I honestly can't complain. It's definitely been amazing. And it's definitely also been a very big learning process of learning how to own and manage a business. And I'm sorry if I keep looking up, if it looks like I'm looking up, I'm not used to filming anymore, but okay, anyways. Um, but yeah, just like learning how to manage people and like be a boss. I'm a very easygoing person. And so that's definitely been a challenge for me is like learning how to be like an authoritative figure for other people. But I will say I have met some of the most incredible people and friends and my customers are just amazing. Like I can't imagine not having them in my life now. Yeah, business is going good. There's definitely been some like challenges and self-doubt and all of that as it comes with owning a business and just trusting in yourself and trusting the process that everything's going to work out. So yeah, we're like two and a half, almost three years in, which is crazy. Relationship, I am coming up on my four year anniversary with my boyfriend, which is just like mind blowing to me. Him and I have definitely had like our fair share of learning experiences and especially I'm 27 and I feel like from like 27 or 25 to 30 is definitely a really serious point in your life where you're starting to think about your future and just who you want to be with and where you want to be. So it's really been cool like figuring that out with him and just like actually having those serious deep conversations with someone. So he is literally my best friend and it's really funny because I need to insert, I don't think I've ever said this on here, I might have once. I need to insert the clip from one of my videos. Literally I was filming the day I met him and he wasn't in the video but I did talk about him in the video and it's just so hilarious to look back on to know that me at 23 years old walking into this situation was about to meet the person that I was gonna be with for the next four years and beyond. Um, I didn't film like at the place just cause we were literally there for like 30 seconds and it was a really cute boy working there and I got nervous and shy. So yeah. Really, really crazy. Um, it's very funny and we both think it's hilarious now. Yeah, so we are still together. I am still working my business outside of Monarch and that is going really well. It's definitely like I'm in a, a point in my life right now where everything's just kind of like here. And so I'm really trying to work on focusing on the things that I want to improve on, the things that I really want in life. And that is why I am filming again because YouTube has always been such a big part of my life. I've watched it for years and I've just always felt very drawn to filming and just sharing and, you know, like 
it's just something it's a very creative outlet for me and I love to do it even if I get like one view or like no views on my videos um, it's just something that I really enjoy doing I feel comfortable doing and it is one thing that I am sad that I stopped doing it for so long but I think it was the other things in my life at that time were stuff that I really needed to focus on and pour my heart into like opening a business and just focusing on my relationships with people my family my boyfriend and you know just learning and growing and there are a lot of times where I wish that I had been filming and memories just to look back on but sometimes I feel like I just like to kind of be in the moment and you know, not have to film everything and I'm really excited to start filming again and vlogging and showing you guys what I'm doing now, where my life is now and just, yeah, it's, I'm, I'm really excited. So if you guys have any video ideas, you can comment them below. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot more vlogging. I really want to get more back into like the health and fitness and beauty side of things that I used to do. I guess I can kind of talk about like my health and fitness journey. I know a big part of when I was filming on here, I actually transi transitioned into a vegan diet. And then I think towards the end of when I was filming last, I had announced that I was no longer vegan. I am still no longer vegan. My ways of eating has changed a lot. It's so funny, like I feel like I've gone through so many phases here on YouTube, but there was one period of time where I was tracking my macros and tracking everything and really in like a bodybuilder mindset and that has definitely changed. I think I realized that when I was tracking my macros and doing all that, that worked for me at that time and now that just no longer feels like what I want to be doing. I'm just very like intuitively eating. I'm not restricting myself. I'm not eating a certain type of way. It's kind of just I'm eating what I feel like when I want and also like keeping in consideration and taking all of my health and nutrition products through the company that I actually work in. Yeah, so I'm just kind of like finding the balance in life and I think that's definitely a big theme of my life the last couple of years is just really trying to find a balance between everything and it definitely has been difficult in some ways and just kind of trying to navigate and advocate for myself when I feel like something doesn't feel right to me or I don't want to go out and do something like just being able to say no has definitely been a challenge because I feel like I am such a people pleaser so a lot of growth happening here a lot of learning myself learning what I want learning what no longer serves me and just kind of going with the flow that's definitely been another big theme is just kind of taking things as they come and learning and growing so another very big thing that has happened over the last two years which if you follow me on social media you would definitely know because she is just someone who changed my life. I ended up getting a nine week old beagle puppy in March of last year, so 2022. And now she is going to be turning two in January, which is insane. But this dog is literally the love of my life. She is a pain in my ass and she's a handful, but I truly feel like she is my soulmate in dog form she is just oh my gosh like I can't if you guys follow me on like social media and Instagram and everything like just go look at the pictures of her and I made her her own Instagram which I don't post on enough and I should but yeah she has really changed my life and has brought just like a responsibility aspect into my life because before I mean I'm in my early 20s, I was just kind of doing things as I pleased, and now it's another little life that I have to care for. So it's it's definitely been tricky because there came a lot of times, and there still is, where before I go do anything, like I have to make sure she's okay and she's gonna be okay to be home because she, one, hates her crate unless she's exhausted, and two, is just finally getting out of the phase of absolutely destroying literally anything that she can get her mouth on. So Willow is in my life. I have a dog. Um, and then 
I also, you guys are gonna think I'm cuckoo bananas. Um, I also have two kittens <laughs> that we got about a month and a half ago, I believe. We ended up losing our two cats from my childhood over the last year, um, about nine months apart from each other. And they were brother and sister and it just, they were 15 and 16 years old and it was their time. And we ended up um, losing both of them and the house just honestly didn't feel the same. So I decided to surprise my mom with two kittens and they are insane. <laughs> they are literally absolutely insane but they are such sweethearts and just fit right in right away. They felt so comfortable in our house, which I love. Willow plays with them all the time, very aggressively, but she plays with them and it just kind of made that feeling of emptiness of losing our other two cats feel more whole again. What else do I have to update you guys on? I don't even know. Um, just kind of living my life right now and finding the balance between work and social activities and just, yeah, it's it's definitely a interesting period of time in my life and I just have so many goals ahead of me that I really want to achieve and <clears throat> my like throat, I need to take a sip of water. Actually, I'm gonna drink my greens. Oh my God, I did not stir this. I have like my little greens powder. Um, so yeah, I'm just reintroducing myself to the channel, um, getting comfortable filming again because it's definitely like, I don't know, it's a weird feeling to be filming this, but it also feels so natural to me, but I have a lot of exciting things coming. Um, I'm definitely more active on my Instagram, so if you guys want to head over to my Instagram, I will put the my username right here. I like feel like I just like don't even know what else to say so I'm probably gonna cut it short sorry if this is like the most random video but I just really wanted to sit down and get comfortable filming again and just update everyone of where I've been it's been a ride it's been crazy like just I'll have to like tell stories about stuff that if it comes to me like I gotta write it down and just like tell you guys things that have happened. I've been traveling a lot which is like fuels my heart because I think I've talked about it in past videos that I studied abroad in Europe back when I was in college in 2016 I believe yeah 2016 and ever since then like with COVID happening and everything like I just really haven't had any opportunity to go travel anywhere and I'm very very fortunate that the company that I work for allows me to have the opportunity to qualify for vacations all expense paid and just some of our trainings that they have like our very like big yearly trainings are always in a different place so I've gotten to travel a lot over the last two years which is just like just makes my heart happy I've gone to Nashville just for fun um, Detroit for a training I went to Mexico for one of the vacations um, back in this past June a couple months ago I qualified for a Disney World vacation which was so fun and then I was in Texas and yeah, a lot of like local areas, but it's just honestly, I feel like my life is really just falling into place and that's why I've been so drawn to filming again, just to share it with you guys and show you all the exciting things coming up. So yeah, I think that's all for me for this video. If I'm also like, I should have said this in the beginning, but if I'm talking quietly, my mom's downstairs, she had um, a procedure done today, so. I think she's asleep on the couch so I'm trying to kind of be quiet but yeah thank you guys if you made it this far thank you so much for watching and leave me any suggestions of things that you want to see and hopefully I'll be more comfortable being in front of the camera again it just is the weirdest thing I don't know I don't like don't know how to explain it it's like seeing an old friend for the first time in a while it feels normal but it's also like what have you been up to the last couple years I love you guys so much. If you have stuck around and you're still here on my channel after all this time, I love and appreciate you. And I want to say thank you so much to the people who have really encouraged me to start filming again and have like told me that I need to film. And yeah, it feels really good to know that I am supported in this. And it's just something fun. Like if you 
I guess this is how I'll close it is if you feel drawn to doing something, whether it be your career, a hobby, um, an interest in a person, just do it. The worst that is going to happen is you're going to fail and you're going to learn from those experiences. So if something makes you happy, go for it, try it out, see how you like it and just go from there. And this is something that makes me happy. And am I the most successful YouTuber? No, absolutely not. But it is something that I feel very passionate about and I'm very excited to be filming again. So on that note, I love you guys so very much. I can't even remember how I ended my videos. I think I remember. So we're going to just give it a try. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have the best day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.